Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on Little Slot YouTube channel. So in one of our previous videos, we discussed about the parallel controller, which is one of the controller which is used in Jmeter. It's, it's a customized controller and we also discussed about what are its advantages and what are the limitations and what's the difference between the parallel controller and the other frequently used controller. So today in this video, we will see about the parallel HTTP request. So this parallel HTTP, HTTP request and the parallel controller comes as a package. So when we install the parallel controller and we copy the files, the library files and the ext files, we will have two jars and one is for the controller and the other one is for the parallel HTTP request. So now we will see how to add this HTTP request to our script so to add we'll have to go inside the controller and go to add and then under the sampler we can see the parallel http requests so when we add the parallel http request we do not have any other options other than adding the urls so to add the urls we can we have to click on add row and i have few urls already here so let me just copy them I'm coming back to the original one that we added now so i'm just clicking here i'm just adding the request and then i'm copying this second one coming to that row adding the values let me just okay and we have the other option of adding the rows and then we have copy rows so we can copy the rows so i have copied the rows here and then we have the other option the third one is to delete the rows in case if we do not want any request we can delete the rows so now let me change the values here so as we can see we have got just the options to enter the url so this can be a http HTTPS request or HTTP request and this can be even a GET request or a POST request. So the only option that we can enter here is just the URL. So what can be used? So this can be used in case if you really want to add or if you really want to bring some tokens or in case if you want to load some supporting files to your script which will really help to keep your session alive or something like that. Or in fact, you can use it to download some resources or you can use it to download some static content. You can very well use this parallel HTTP request. So let's try, let's check it out. So I have two HTTP requests. So let me add zero, 01 here. So we have got two requests. One is parallel HTTP, HTTP request zero, 01 and then parallel HTTP request zero, 02. So we have got two requests. And we will see how does it work. So currently we are inside the parallel controller. I have got one user and let me run the script and I will show you what happens. So I'm running the script. So as we are in the parallel controller, they might throw or they might hit the request in a random fashion. So we have got the second request first and then the first request under that. So when we go to the second request, here you can see the first request which is the which is the category id cats so this has loaded the files the supporting the html files and then any other images that are part of the request so everything that is part of the scripts will be loaded here in the response body and we can see even the response header as well so here you can see so this is the request so here is part of it so even though we have given this url as the request under this you can see it has bifurcated and it is it has called all the other supporting urls so even these were not being initiated or we did not send any of this request but it took from the original request and then all these other requests has been generated as part of the primary request. So the next thing is what if I add a think time between these two 
parallel HTTP request. So let me add a uniform random timer and let me add a time of 10 seconds to make sure whether they really work. So the constant delay is 10 seconds and let me run it. So here it's not picked up because it's under parallel control. So let me go and let me pick up, let me change the controller to a simple controller so that by the order it should definitely be picked up. So let me change this to simple controller and let me run this. So I have got the uniform random timer inside the parallel request. Let me clear it and let me start running the script. So here we can see the scripts are waiting for some time, something time. So here we have got nine seconds ready and then the 10th second. And then we have got the request that's being executed. So inside this parallel request, we can add the thing time. We can add the random timer so that they gets really picked up. So what are the other options or how well can we use this particular uh, parallel request? So inside the SAM simple controller we have used it. What if we use it under the loop controller? Because if this is something which we do really want to execute multiple times, so we can, so for example, like I'm just, I'm just giving it for 10 iterations and let me run this script. And here you can see, okay, let me just stop the random timers. Reduce it to one second to avoid enough number of throughput. So let me clear it and then when I run it. So for every one second, I'm getting the request that's been tested. So the loop controller. So this parallel request works very well under the loop controller. So the same way, we can try with different controllers. So we have tried it with parallel controller. We have tried it with the simple controller. Now with the loop controller. So in case if I want to try with a random controller, what happens if we are, if I run this request with a random controller? So let me try it again. And when I run this request, here you can see it has been very well executed. So there is no issues in using this HTTP request inside any controller, they work very well, really, very well. And you can use the think time, the timers, and also you can add these pre-processes or post-processes. And also you can use any config elements in case if you want to extract any values. So here I have added a regular expression extractor to get the values, but still it doesn't work. Even though I have selected the main sample and the field to check his body, but you can use the parameters to parameter the value here. So let me try that. So next thing is I have tried to do a parameterization and for that I did add a CSV dataset config by right clicking on the parallel HTTP request and then I went to the config element and I added the CSV dataset config. And then under the dataset config, I have brought the file where I have the three values, just cats, dogs, and reptiles. And I have named the variable name as pets. And the ignore first line, I made it to false because I wanted the value from the line one. I have not made any other changes. And then I have replaced this value in my script here. So there was this value, the cats, and then I replaced it with dollar pets, dollar pets, and dollar pets. So then, I tried to execute the request and I found this parameterization is not a suitable thing for the parallel request because here you can see the first request is the only one that has got generated which shows that if there are duplications it will ignore the other request and it will just test or it will just run only the unique request so here we have got three requests and but it's executing only the same request because the reason here is it is running the it has the same value so let me do a small change so what if i'm running with dogs so if i'm running this with dogs here now you can see it will run the 
first request and then the second request which is the dots so this is another unique feature because if you have the same request under this request it won't execute and then let's see one more thing so let me create two threads and let me run the script and let's see how does it work so when we run it with two threads it automatically works but again in the second thread the second value which is the docs did not work here so this parallel http request does looks like it has to be used in a very straightforward manner and you cannot or you do not have the flexibility currently to make any changes or you cannot use the regular expression extractors that is the correlation part you cannot do it and you cannot very well utilize the parameterization part so these are some of the limitations which we have in the parallel con controller so the parallel http request so with that we come to an end we will see another interesting video in our upcoming session so until then it's bye bye from us and shanmukam and little slaw